Border agents on alert. News Nation exclusively obtaining a bulletin sent out to agents warning them to wear body armor and remain vigilant after a violent episode in the El Paso, Paso sector. News Nation border correspondent Ali Bradley is live in El Paso. And Ali, there has been an escalation of violence along this particular section of the border. Yeah, hey, Nicole. So this all started around 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon here in the Isleta area of the El Paso sector, where the uh, Border Patrol was alerted that a migrant was over on the other side of that wall that we're standing in front of. This is a gate that it happened at. He was over there stabbing other migrants. So according to this situational awareness bulletin that News Nation was able to exclusively obtain here, a National Guard soldier that was deployed from Indiana to the El Paso area under Operation Lone Star shot the suspect who subsequently ran back south to Mexico. Now it turned out the two individuals that he stabbed did receive non-life threatening injuries. This bulletin also alerts agents of increased violence due to migration, encouraging agents to wear their body armor and also remain vigilant. Now today we have witnessed several groups that have been showing up here at the same gate where this incident happened to self surrender to border patrol agents. One group we're watching here just takes off running trying to get closer to where they believe agents will ultimately receive them here. These are not people that are trying to get away in this sector. Now, all of this has been unfolding not far from the gate where we saw migrants rush soldiers down here after pushing through that razor wire last month. Take a listen to what the Border Patrol Council had to say about this whole disaster unfolding. They can attack an agent and there's literally no consequences. And for the past, agents have been having to deal with this for a long time. I've even heard, heard stories from agents that have contacted you know, uh, prostitution to try to get a prostitution across. And they've been told, look, if you're not bleeding, we're not prostituting. Now, we did hear, Nicole, from Indiana's National Guard about the situation. They said that they are aware of the situation, and they also say that they care and support their soldiers who are deployed down here under Operation Lone Star. Now, of course, we have reached out to Governor Greg Abbott and also the Texas Military Department, Nicole, but we have not yet heard back. All right, Allie Bradley, on top of all of it, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.